Okay, welcome to part 12. In this part, I'm going to go ahead and finish up what clothing accessories I need to make and then start uh, adding the seams for the texture mapping. Okay, so first thing I want to do is create some gloves. However, since we spent time making the fingernails look nice, I don't want to give them the full full gloves. I'm going to give them the what do they call it? The half gloves or something like that where, you know, the kind of gloves that like bikers wear and weightlifters wear, that kind of thing. So, I'm uh, just going to select that part of each finger. It looks like I have that. There we go. And the thumb. Get rid of these. B twice, Alt, Paint over it. Okay. And let's get this wrist as well. Okay. So now, do like we did with the boots and the and the belt. Shift D, duplicate that. And I want to scale it up some. Now I'm going to go in and around each each digit, each finger and the thumb. I'll uh, expand that just a little bit so it doesn't go through the model, through the skin. Tedious, I know, but it's the kind of thing that has to be done, so. Almost there. Too much on that one, okay. Okay, how's that looking? Okay, good, first try. Okay, so now let's do this wrist. I want to straighten it out a little bit. First, there we go. And now I want to. Uh, looks like it's straight, but it's not straight with. It needs to be straight with. Okay, now I want to make the, the 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 cuff of the glove a little thicker. So I'm just select those faces, extrude those, and just scale them up some. Just move them kind of forward a little bit. Let's see what it looks like now. Okay, not too bad. We're going through the. Ah. But watch which buttons I'm pushing on my keyboard shortcuts. Sometimes I push the wrong one. Okay. And this looks a little messy right here. Let's see if we can fix this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's, uh, you know me and my details, I like to get everything looking just so before I move on. Okay, I think that'll be fine. Okay, there's a glove. And now we need a collar, but I'm not going to put another another mesh in there. I'm just going to kind of do a, a fake collar so it gives the illusion that he's got a thicker collar on. So I'm going to select, create a new loop right here. Control R and put it in there. Kind of adjust it to where 
it's more of a straighter line that could be a shirt collar. I want to select all of these faces right here. Okay. Do the same thing I did on the cuff of the glove. Extrude them. Put in front of you so I can see a little bit better. Scale them up a little bit. Just drag them until we start seeing a nice crease at the at the top of it. So it looks like the, th the thickness of, of clothing. Okay, see? Alright, it's got a collar on now. It's like a wetsuit or something like that. Okay, and let's go ahead and merge these bottom ones so we don't have a lot of extra vertices that we don't need. Okay, so there we go. We got a superhero in his costume. Costume. A superhero in his costume. Alright, now, I believe we are pretty much done with modeling. We'll add some hair later on, but that's a different process. So, what I'm going to do now is add the seams. And what seams are are their separations that you mark on your mesh to tell the UVW map where it's at on the model. So basically I'm putting a seam around the ear here and when I unwrap the UV coordinates it's going to flatten it out and so I can take it into a, a graphic editing software such as Photoshop or GIMP or something like that uh, and and I'll be able to paint a texture in there and it'll apply it to the 3D model here. You can go with solid colors through your materials panel but it looks better if you if you add a texture map actually to it. So first uh, first seam I put was around the ear so it's gonna pull the ear out and flatten it out. Okay I want to put one around the top of the uh, collar, control E, and a lot of people when they do their, th when they unwrap the face, they select something like, like this, and it just, uh, you know, all the way down to the collar. Anyways, and uh, it just makes one one huge picture for the head. I don't like to do that. I like to have a little bit more room for for good detail on the face. So I usually just select like the edges of the face, almost like uh, if you've seen uh, RoboCop and he takes his helmet off, kind of like that. Just just the part that you see. Control E, mark the seam. Oh, there's another thing I don't know if I mentioned. To to mark a seam, you select whatever edge you're wanting to put it on. And you hit Control E, and it brings up your edge specials, and you just select mark the seam. And for uh, and also if you if you select a seam, if you select something and, and put a seam on it by accident, like that, say, oops, there's a seam up there. I don't want that. Just select it. Control E again. This time you sit you hit uh, clear seam, and it gets rid of it. Piece of cake. Okay, so now we got the the face and the ear. I like to do around the inside of the mouth. Mark the seam, and I like to do around the around the tongue. So I, I just hit five on my numpad to go into more perspective view. And I'm inside the mouth now. I'm going to add. See, I selected that loop around the back of the tongue. Control E, mark that seam. Now I'm rotate around. I'm kind of inside the head, and I want to put another seam along the bottom center of the tongue, so it can. So I can pull it out and flatten it easier. There we go. Control E. Mark the scene. All right. So got the head pretty well done. Now 
now let's do the hands. And I want to go ahead and hide the glove. Control, select part of it. Control L selects the rest of it. Hit H to hide. Uh, so now I want to do the hand. I usually like to do it on top and bottom. So I'm going to select all of the edges along the bottom area of the hand, like so. And I'll put a seam down here. Kind of looks like uh, I'm outlining the seams of a glove, which is a good example. Because basically you're making a 3D surface look 2, 2D so you can paint on it easily. That's kind of what gloves are. It's a 2D surface. I mean, that's kind of what gloves do. They're flattened versions of your hands. Okay, now I'm going to mark these seams. Control E. And you can see way earlier when we were creating the fingernails, we put those seams around the nails. See how it's saving time now? I'd have to go through each individual finger. So now I just had to do it the one time, just copy it over. So shortcuts are a good thing to know. Okay, so now I'm going to mark a seam to separate the front of the body from the back of the body. doing these tutorials I start getting popular on my cell phone. People start calling and sending texts and things like that. Never do that when I'm not doing a tutorial. Anyways, I'll get to that later. Okay, almost done. Go ahead and mark that. And the boots are kind of in the way now, so I'm going to select those and hide them. And go around to the sole of the foot right there. I'll select that loop so I can have two different maps here when I go to edit. So if he's got, you know, walked on a dirty floor or something, he's got dirt on the bottoms of his feet, it'll be a lot easier to put it on. Okay, of course he's probably always going to have his boots on, but anything worth doing. Okay, control E, mark the seam. Okay, now let's go ahead and unhide everything. And let's go ahead and hide the uh, control L. Hide the, the main body so I can get in here. I was just thinking, there's no need to have the inside of the boot. It's never going to show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get rid of it. Select that loop, hit delete. Delete the edges. Nah, it's kind of ugly now. I don't want to undo that. Let's go one further down. Get that one. Delete edges. And let's go ahead and see if we can. There we go. Control Alt selected around. Uh, those those edges around there. I want to E, not E, W, subdivide. So it gives a little sharper edge there. Actually, I don't even do that. Let's just do Control R. And there we go. Oh, I see why it's doing that. I need to. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I did delete the edge. I just deleted the the edges around the. The, the, the horizontal edges. I didn't delete the vertical ones too, which would make it. So let's. Uh, I guess I can do this. Just delete all these points and hanging out in the middle of space. Is that all of them. Yes. And delete these vertices. There we go. Now we got that nice flat edge there. Looks like we have a thicker boot then. Okay. 
So now the inside of the boot is separated from the outside, so I can select one, control L, and it just selects what was the inside. Delete those. We don't need them. So now, yep. Can't even tell they're gone. Okay, so now I want to add a seam around these. I guess this one. Okay. Right. Yes. Okay. And I want to add a seam around the sole, like I did on the foot. Grab my edges again, and deselect this part that's going around. bottom of the foot. There we go. Everything good. Control E. Mark that seam. Alright. Now we can do something nice with the boots. The belt I'm not going to... I uh, might as well while I'm here I guess. But I'm just going to hit that control. Mark that seam. And I guess I'll do the belt buckle too. We might want to add a logo to it or something. You know, while I'm in here on the belt, I want to select the front of it here and just go ahead and extrude in or scale that down so extrude in so it's got there we go has a, a nice shape to it now bring that center point out so I'm just kind of rounded Uh, control R. Let's add a loop in here. Get it to go on there. Nothing? Okay. Well, let's just uh, escape. And uh, I guess just select all these. Ah, didn't mean to get in there. Sorry. There, so we'll just subdivide. There we go. Scale that up a little bit better. Roundedness. Okay. Anyways, back to the seams. Select the back edge of the belt, and I want to deselect that bottom one. If I get to it, that one out. Ah. I guess I could hit B and just there we go. So now it's going to add a seam across there, and it's going to it's going to be kind of like a a soup can when you don't cut the lid off all the way. It's going to bring the center of it back down and basically be a circle on top of a circle. I'll 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 demonstrate later. And I guess I need to separate the ends of the belt from each other. So that loop, control E, mark the seam. Okay. All right, now let's see the gloves. Okay, same thing with the hand, just along the top and the bottom. Let's see, I guess it's that one. Nope. You, there you go. And this one. Alright, and there we go. And almost there. Good. Okay, control E. Mark the seam. And let's unhide everything. Alt H. Got all the seams marked that we want. I believe that we do. Okay. That's all my seams. I'm going to save it. And uh, go ahead and tab out into. Normal view. Control W. Save again. And uh, I guess that will be all of part 12. A little, little bit under 20 minutes this time, but I uh, don't have enough time to get into the next part. Next part will be unwrapping these seams that we've created, unwrapping the UV coordinates, and then we will take them into a graphic program and start painting his texture. texture. Okay, that's all for part 12. See you in part 13.